Hi, my name is Melissa Trainer. I'm a planetary scientist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. So Titan is, in my opinion, one of the most fascinating places in the solar system. It is a moon of Saturn. It is one of the largest moons in the solar system and the only one that has an atmosphere. And it actually has some features on its surface as well as its atmosphere that uh, remind us a little bit of, of our own planet Earth, especially features that Earth may have had, you know, many billions of years ago before the dawn of life. And in fact, Titan has all of the ingredients that we think are, are necessary for life in, in one way or another, uh, energy and organic chemistry, as well as uh, both liquid water and liquid methane. And so it's a really intriguing place to go and try to understand you know, what kind of cool, unique chemistry could be happening on that moon that might be relevant for prebiotic chemistry. And also what can we learn, um, you know, some clues about what kind of processes can happen on a planet that might be relevant for our own planet or even, you know, extrasolar planets. The Dragonfly mission to Titan is a rotorcraft lander. It's designed to go to Titan and land in multiple locations on the surface and then do a really uh, thorough in-situ investigation at the surface of Titan. So that's both studying the environment at a landing site with imaging and with various meteorological sensors, uh, but also do a chemical investigation of the types of surface materials that are there, looking for the types of organic molecules there are, and also searching for evidence of prebiotic chemistry and um, prebiotic molecules that, you know, we find important for life as we know it, such as amino acids or, or nucleobases. And because of the ability of the rotorcraft to fly, we can then move from place to place on Titan's surface to investigate new surface locations and, and, and really understand the environment at Titan. So I am the lead for the Dragonfly Mass Spectrometer, which we call DRAMS. And this is the instrument that is going to be doing the chemical investigation at Titan. So we will be getting surface samples that are drilled on Titan, delivered to DRAMS, and then we'll investigate those samples and we'll be looking for what types of chemicals are in there, what types of organic molecules. And again, can we find evidence? Do we see things like amino acids? Do we see things like nucleobases? And what can we understand about how they were formed and how they got to be on Titan's surface? And we'll be able to make that investigation at multiple locations on Titan and kind of piece together, you know, a picture of what types of chemical processes have taken place.